Hi, we will continue on the topic of rocket propulsion. So, in this particular video, I will discuss on the applications of rocket propulsion, typically on space launch vehicle, spacecraft, as well as missile. So, if you can see here, the different uh, variation as well as uh, size of rocket uh, propulsion application where we have uh, V2 Germany okay rocket from Germany R7 USSR Saturn 5 US Space Shuttle US Ariane 5 from European Space Agency Delta 4 Heavy from the US Proton from Russia and CZ to F from China. This particular figure shown the Titan 3 launch vehicle shortly after liftoff with bright radiant exhaust gas. Okay, it uses two solid propellant rocket motors and each providing around 2.4 million pounds of thrust. Boost the first stage, which also gets sustained thrust of 470,000 pounds from two liquid rocket engine. So the second stage also has 100,000 pounds of thrust from a single liquid rocket engine. And one version of the third stage has two liquid rocket engine, each at 16,000 pounds of thrust. This particular table lists down selected US based space launch vehicles all right so we can see here there are a few uh, popular names such as titan td4d delta 2 atlas centaur and pegasus so if you can see here it has stages right some of it has uh, more than uh, two stages okay typically three stages number of engine okay for example, like uh, Titan 34D, at stage 0, it has two motor or rocket engine. Okay, stage 1, it has two, and stage 2, it has one, and stage 3, it has one. Okay, in terms of the thrust produced, we can also look at the type of propellant being used. Okay, and launch mass, the two-stage payload system, as well as the three-stage payload weight. So this, you can see a comparison between the different type of space launch vehicles. Right, this is just a more graphical uh, image on a different type of uh, space launch vehicle where we have the space shuttle on the left hand side where it has a height of around 180 4.2 feet okay okay with a gross leaf mass of 4.5 million pound okay. and areas one it has 921 feet with a 2 million sorry 20 million yeah, 20 million pound okay and uh, areas five it has a height of 353 sorry it is uh, 184 321 358 and 362 feet it getting taller and taller eh? from from left hand side to the right hand side and also you can see that the size also uh, increases the uh, the number of stages also increases as the technology being being developed and we can see here okay leo stand for low earth orbit so in terms of the uh, application they use up to the uh, low earth orbit right uh, propulsion system for the space shuttle Okay, even though space shuttle are not being used anymore, I think it is a good uh, classical example uh, to look into a more detailed uh, space uh, shuttle uh, propulsion system. Okay, so we have the uh, 
uh, space uh, shuttle orbiter, right, as well as the solid rocket booster, right, because it has a two two component there, and it has uh, in terms of propulsion system the space shuttle the main engine, okay, uh, orbiter maneuver, so it also has can maneuver in space, okay, to, uh, uh, to move around and reaction control system. It has 38 primary thruster and six vernier thrusters. Okay, and in terms of the solid rocket booster, it attached to external tank, uh, multi-section, two unit separation rocket motor, with, which has uh, 16 units. And uh, in this particular table, also highlighted the number of starts and typical burn time, right? Uh, the first one, and then uh, propellant and specific impulse. The, the thrust as well as the mission, right? Uh, this is also uh, showing selected US spacecraft, okay? The Mariner, uh, Pioneer, Viking, Nimbus, Apollo, Space Shuttle Orbiter, Fleet Communication Satellite, okay? Like Photo Recon and Intel Sat 5 and Deep Space. So I would I, I don't want to go through all of this. It's just a, a, a snapshot of showing uh, the different type of uh, spacecraft propulsion system. Okay, uh, this particular figure one three one one three simplified sketch of the space shuttle vehicle, the shuttle orbiter, where we can see the typical delta wing. Okay, delta wing. Uh, hinge uh, vehicle, okay, delta winch vehicle, about the size of a medium range jetliner, is a reusable, okay. Obviously, we know that the space shuttle being used again and again until it stop um, uh, operation, and it has a spacecraft airplane combination that takes off vertically and lands horizontally, okay, like a glider, uh, which is, is very good and very practical, right. Uh, this particular table showing uh, a different type of uh, US uh, based missile. Okay, just now looking at this uh, spacecraft. This is also this is uh, using the same uh, rocket technology at a smaller scale. Okay, surface to surface uh, long range missile, Minuteman three, Poseidon, Titan two, surface to air uh, missile. Okay, we have Chaparral, Improved Hawk. Standard missile, Red Eye, Patriot, air to surface, Maverick, Shrike, um, as well as SRAM, air to air missile, we have the Falcon, Phoenix, Sidewinder, anti submarine, battlefield, and so many other applications. So it has uh, different type of diameter, different length because of the ha it has different uh, functions in terms of the operation. And uh, typical propulsion characteristics of some rocket application are being uh, summarize here okay we have the application we have the type of propellant the thrust profile typical duration and the maximum acceleration so different as again uh, different operation different application require different type of propellant different thrust profile and typical uh, duration okay that's uh, wrap up our introduction uh, topic on rocket propulsion. We will continue on the fundamentals and operation of uh, rocket propulsion in the following video. If you have any comments or you have any question, you may put down in the link in the YouTube channel. Thank you very much and we will continue in the following video. Bye-bye.